Hello, this is Gary Schnitke, and this is for 5-Minute Farm Doc Daily, dealing with drug cost and prices on grain farms. We evaluated using FBFM data from 2000 to 2020. We looked at how direct cost and prices received by Illinois farmers changed over time, and there is a high correlation between price increases and direct cost increases. Direct costs include fertilizer, seed, chemicals, drying storage, and crop insurance. And as corn prices rise, so do direct costs. In 2000, direct costs were $134 per acre, and corn price that Illinois farmers received was $1.97 per bushel. Over the next six years, corn prices remained relatively stable and direct cost increased slightly from $134 and increased about $11 per year, reaching $197 in 2006. From 2006 to 2012, we had, in general, rising corn prices and direct cost increased as well going from 197 in 2006 up to $432 in 2013. That corresponded to the year before a 693 corn price in 2012. And that 2012 price was high because we continued to see corn used in ethanol and 2012 was the drought year. From 2012 through 2015, corn prices fell going from 693 in 2012 down to uh, 376 in 2014 and 379 in 2015. Corn prices then remained relatively stable from 2014 through 2019, and direct costs declined some, but not a lot, reaching lower levels of roughly $360 to $370 per acre from 2016 through 2020. Now we're looking at higher or rising corn prices to be 440 in 2020 and 570 in 2021 and we expect direct cost to increase as well. Similarly, we see the same thing if we look at ERS data for the US. We looked at that from 1975 through 2020 and we saw the same sort of relationships. From 1975 through 20, 2005 uh, corn price in dollars per bushel was relatively the same, and operating cost, which is roughly equivalent to direct cost, increased slightly during that period. From 2006 to 2012, corn prices rose, and so did operating cost, and then declined a bit and remained relatively stable uh, through 2020. Again, we're looking at higher corn prices now, and we would expect direct costs, which will be led for primarily by fertilizer, seed, and chemicals to go up during this period of higher prices. So come the fall of 2021, we would expect those prices to be up and 2022 direct costs to be increasing as well. So given that we continue to see higher corn prices through this fall, again, we would expect direct cost to increase. The concerns with all of this happens when corn prices and all commodity prices fall again. We don't see direct cost decline as much if we use history as a guide. Guide So we get concerned when prices fall again and how, how much direct cost will fall during that period as well. You can read more about this in the FarmDoc Daily article linked in this video description.